Hi students, welcome to our physics class now. Now we are going to learn about critical angle topic in a ray optics that is in a refraction of light. At plane surfaces, critical angle in a ray optics, especially in the refraction of light at uh, plane surfaces. So, what is about a critical angle? So, this topic is there in a uh, 10 plus 2 physics in ray optics, and also in a state syllabus in intermediate second year, and also in a uh, 10th class in state syllabus and CVSA syllabus especially in the ray optics or refraction of light at plane surfaces we have critical angle topic so to know the critical angle first we want to know Snell's law so after knowing the Snell's law we can go to critical angle students The ratio of sine angle of incidence is a sine angle of incidence denoted by I that is a sine I. and sine angle of refraction it is a denoted by sine r is constant so this is called snell's law and this constant is equal to refractive index of refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium it can be denoted by n to 1 or mu to 1 so the ratio between sine angle of incidence and sine angle of refraction is always constant. This constant value is equal to refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium refractive index. So this implies the formula for Snell's law can be written as sine i by sine r is equals to constant. So, this constant value is n to 1. But n to 1 is also given as n to by n1. So, in the previous videos of refractive index, we explained clearly. So, n to 1 is also equal to n to by n1. So, sin i by sin r is given by the constant or sin i by sin r also equal to n21 or sin i by sin r also equal to n2 by n1 or sin i by sin r also equal to v1 by v2 so we have various formula for snell's law so this is a most useful in understanding the concept of critical angle so now what is critical angle and what are the conditions for the critical angle critical angle is denoted by c critical angle is denoted by c Critical angle is denoted by C. 
the conditions to explain the critical angle in the refraction of light at plane surfaces the ray of light always uh, has to travel from denser medium of light into rarer medium this is one condition so the direction of the ray of light is always from denser medium into rarer medium so what is denser medium what is rarer medium it was clearly explained in the previous video of refractive index students so denser medium is nothing but the medium of light in which speed of light is a lower comparing with other medium that is a denser medium and rarer medium the medium of light in which speed of light is a lower comparing with other medium that is a rarer medium so here light ray has to travel from denser medium into rarer medium that is we want to select denser medium as the first medium and rarer medium as the second medium so now with the help of diagram we can explain the critical angle definition and also formula for critical angle so the direction of the light is always from denser medium to rarer medium so in the case of critical angle consider so it is the line which is separating the rarer medium a and denser medium water so now you can also understand this one as a interface which is separating both media from the point o a normal is a drawn into the denser medium and rarer medium so it is a normal drawn into rarer medium and this is the normal drawn from the point o to interface into the denser medium it is a normal to the interface drawn into rarer medium it is the normal drawn to the interface into the denser medium now so we can consider this one is a medium one and this is a medium two so now it's a refractive index we are taking as a n1 consider n1 is equals to n and you know refractive index in the case of rarer medium air we take approximately this value is equal to 1 so now it is a incident ray which is a traveling from denser medium into rarer medium incident ray incident ray which is a moving from or a denser medium into rarer medium and you know this is angle of incidence this is angle of incidence so for a particular angle of incidence for a particular angle of incidence the refracted ray travels along the interface so this is a refracted ray refracted ray which is traveling along the interface along the interface but this refractive ray doesn't travel for all angles of incidence so it uh, incidence here then it refracts there only for particular angle of incidence for particular angle of incidence the refracted ray is a grazing the interface traveling the interface but in this case in the rarer medium so the angle between this refracted ray and normal is called angle of refraction this is 90 degrees students so from this one we can define critical angle so when the r is a 90 degrees then we can take this is a critical angle c this angle of incidence is taken as a critical angle c but this doesn't the refracted ray does not travel like this with all angles of incidence only for a particular angle of incidence at the interface when it is traveling from denser medium into rarer medium so the refracted ray travels along the interface along the interface so then 
the angle of refraction will be 90 degrees in such cases angle of incidence will be taken as critical angle so critical angle definition we can write the angle of incidence for which the angle of incidence in the denser medium for which the angle of refraction in a denser in a rarer medium in rarer medium is 90 degrees then that angle of incidence that angle of incidence is taken as that angle of incidence is taken as critical angle that means in the place of i we can take c in the place of i we can take c so the angle of incidence the angle of incidence in the denser medium for which the angle of refraction in the rarer medium is 90 degrees then that angle of incidence is taken as a critical angle c that is in the place of i we can take c so for a very critical angle angle it's a corresponding angle of refraction is always 90 degrees so now what is the formula for critical angle students we are going to derive the formula for critical angle so from the snell's law just now we explained snell's law so here from the figure from the figure angle of refraction r is taken as 90 degrees and our angle of incidence is nothing but critical angle we want to derive the formula for critical angle that is question mark and you know n2 is a refractive index of the rarer medium air 1 and n1 is the refractive index of the denser medium which is taken as n so we know that from snell's law sin i by sin r sin i by sin r is equals to n2 by n1 so now we are reversing both the denominator and the numerators on both sides it can be written as sin r by sin i is equals to n1 by n2 so sin r means sin 90 degrees sin i means sin c n1 is n n2 is 1 that is n children so r is taken as 90 degrees i means critical angle so sin 90 by sin c n1 is the refractive index of the first medium that is a medium one denser medium n2 is the refractive index of rarer medium that is second medium so then sin 90 value we know that sin 90 value sin 90 value is 1 so it can be written as 1 by sin c is equals to n so this is the formula for uh, this is the formula for critical angle for the given pair of media so sin c 1 by sin c is equals to n it is a one formula or sin c is equals to 1 by n it is also another formula for critical angle so sin c is equals to 1 by n or 1 by sin c is equals to n so this is the critical angle once again recalling the definition of critical angle students so the angle of incidence for which angle of refraction is 90 degrees then angle of incidence is taken as a critical angle this doesn't happen for all angles of incidence that is refracted ray traveling along the interface only for particular angle of incidence during the journey from denser into rarer the refracted ray travels along the interface in such cases angle of refraction becomes 90 degrees that is why we can define critical angle as so the angle of incidence in the denser medium for which angle of refraction in the rarer medium is 90 degrees 
then that angle of incidence is called as critical angle denoted by c it is given by the formula 1 by sin c is equals to n 1 by sin c can also be called cosecant c so cosecant c also equal to n or sin c is equals to 1 by n or c is equals to sin inverse of 1 by n so we can use in many ways so using n value we can find critical angle using critical angle uh, we can find refractive index of the denser medium so here n is the refractive index of the denser medium students now we are uh, uh, going to solve an example problem for critical angle An example problem for critical angle. Critical angle for a given pair of media of light. Is 30 degrees then find refractive index we want to find so solution for this one c is of 30 degrees given and we want to find a refractive index n or it is also mu question mark so we know that 1 by sin c is equals to n this implies n is equals to 1 by sin 30 degrees c value 30 degrees this implies n is equals to sin 30 is a 1 by 2 so which is a 1 into 2 by 1 that is 2 so refractive index of the given pair of media that is the denser medium so out of the pair of media the denser medium has a refractive index so 2 so likewise we can find on giving critical angle we can calculate refractive index of the uh, first medium that is denser medium so when the refractive index is a given we can find the critical angle so in the denser medium so that's all the critical angle topic students